so much hate every time you turn on the television you're seeing the manifestation of it I take my hat off to you I am thankful to him and I'm thankful for this I'm here to say as a black man I was a Negro but I have turned black I'm not going back Come on. I'm marching forward with my commander in chief the honorable Louis Farrakhan I thank you for listening Assalamu alaikum To everyone's surprise, Minister Rodney Mohammed of the Nation of Islam exited the building and did not stay to engage in the discussion of the origin of God Almighty with Pastor Jennings as was originally planned and agreed to. Here now is Pastor Jennings. We want to say we thank Minister Rodney Mohammed for, for those wonderful, fiery remarks. I was hoping that he didn't have to leave so the meeting wouldn't be incomplete. Amen. Your tape, sir. He's I agree get him out the trunk. with the statements that he had made on various points. The brother has said that the white man should be down here being charged. But it wasn't a white man that taught God created himself out of triple darkness. Mm -hmm. So we can't charge a white man. Amen. Unless if he's a student of Minister Farrakhan. Amen. And Minister Farrakhan is a student of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is a student of Master Fadad Muhammad. Amen. That will only be the only white man to charge. Amen. 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 If you're going to tell me to charge a white man, Amen. then the charge must go past Farrakhan passed the Honorable Elijah Muhammad right to Master Fadad Muhammad, who's part original man. So if you want me to charge him, I charge Farad. Amen. Amen. Yes, I charge him. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, the brother minister said some excellent remarks. See, I was hoping he would stay. Amen. So we can get a chance to question one another. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yes. Amen. Yeah. First and foremost, let me make something clear. Our religion is not Christianity. Amen. And only those around the world that have seen our program know this. Amen. Many have made the mistake of because they see a preacher in a church. Their religion is quote unquote Christianity. That's not our religion. Amen. That's not the religion of the prophets. That was never God religion. Amen. That was never the religion of the apostles. God have never told you your religion is Christianity. But I can't find where God said, be ye holy. holy. Amen. religion amen God says be ye holy for I I am holy am holy you you may ask well how long your religion been here it has no age amen who founded it nobody amen who started it not anyone is that scripture yes the Bible teaches us that according to as God has chosen us in him amen before the foundation of the world mm -hmm. that we should be holy. holy that means before creation came here amen god purpose for us to be holy amen now the brother made the statement that you don't have to have 
scripture. That don't work here. No, no. Amen. Listen, brothers and sisters. Amen. Anytime you got a religion, and that religion is supposed to represent God. Amen. Then the contents of that religion, the belief of that religion, the standards of that religion must come from the scriptures. Amen. How can I tell you something about God? Yes. That a prophet of God never said? Amen. Amen. That no representative of God ever said, let us remember any messenger that come on the scene. Amen. His message must be according to what is written. That's right. That's right. Now, the reason why we believe what's written, written. let's Go to work. Amen. We're going to go to work this afternoon. Amen. The brother, he said a lot of good words. Yeah. I'm not interested in good sounding words. Mm -hmm. Not at all. I don't hate the nation of Islam. Amen. I don't hate the honor of Elijah Muhammad. Our brother, are we not striving for popularity because we're heard around the world. Amen. And I would tell anybody, the honor of Elijah Muhammad done more in the black community than any black man that came on the scene. Amen. We're not questioning his teachings of self-help. We're not questioning him instructing the black man not to look for others to do for you what you can do for self. Amen. What we're talking now is talking about is greater than a mosque. Yeah. Greater than a church. That's right. Greater than your business. Amen. We're talking about the master of all creation, the master of the day of judgment, and the cherisher and sustainer of all worlds, God. Amen. We're not talking about white folk or black folk. We're Amen. talking about God. Amen. The black man need God just like the white one. That's right. The white one need God just like the yellow one. Amen. We're not talking about that. We're talking about God. And if anybody here Amen. believe that you are justified believing God based upon self-made ideas Amen. then why preach from the Quran or the Bible that's right <laughs> these books supposed to be divinely inspired Amen. and if these books are divinely inspired then that would mean God moved the prophets to talk. That's right. That would mean no prophet spoke by his permission. That's right. That would mean no apostle spoke by his permission. So you can't tell me Amen. you don't have to show me what's written. The Bible says whatsoever things are written or full time That's right. are written for our learning Amen. that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Amen. If it takes the scriptures to build a righteous people. That's right. You're not God's people by a word of mouth. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Amen. You're not God's people by a pen. That's right. Europe or America. That's right. Doesn't make us God's people. Amen. Wisdom and knowledge and the understanding of God through the prophets. Amen. Develops a people. That's right. Because once we become the children of God, we must learn the nature of our Father. That's right. 
for us to learn the nature of God, Amen. we must go back Amen. to what's written. What's written? That's right. So nobody That's right. would ever tell me and get away with it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to teach the people what's written if Muslims Amen. not going to believe and go by the Quran. Don't carry it. That's right. Talk to me. That's right. Amen. If you so-called Christians, Amen. It's not gonna go by the Bible Amen. and throw it in the trash. That's right. You see, when it comes to God, Amen. I don't care who you are. Amen. I don't care where you come from. Amen. I don't care nothing about the size following. Amen. Because I know God's word is perfect. Let me show you why we stress Amen. to believe what's written. Amen. I will not have confidence in teaching for someone to give me an opinion. That's right. About God. That's right. Listen, we ain't talking about a store. No. We can't talk about God like he's somebody from the hood. Amen. Amen. What kind of God-fearing human being would I be? Amen. That I will let you give me a word of mouth and tell me something about God. Amen. And then Jesus said, That's right. Ye fools. That's right. And slow of heart. Slow of heart. Believe all That's what the prophets. the prophets have said. That's right. For me to do that, we got to go to what's written. That's right. That's right. Now, let's dive into the scripture. He says he doesn't have to give scripture to prove it. Amen. Well, I'm going to give scripture to prove it never happened. That's right. I'm going to give scripture to prove it never happened. That's because right. if God created himself, right, and Muslims, we don't hate you. That's right. That's but we should be able to disagree without being violent and disagreeable. That's right. Amen. If, listen at the lesson. If God created himself from darkness, Amen. to be created, you can't... These books supposed to be divinely inspired. Amen. And if these books are divinely inspired, mm -hmm. then that would mean God moved the prophets to talk. That's right. That would mean no prophet spoke by his permission. That's right. That would mean no apostle spoke by his permission. So you can't tell me Amen. you don't have to show me what's written. The Bible says whatsoever things are written, written or full time That's right. are written for our learning Amen. that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Amen. If it takes the scriptures to build a righteous people. That's right. You're not God's people by a word of mouth. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Amen. You're not God's people by opinion. That's right. Europe or America. That's right. Doesn't make us God's people. Amen. Wisdom and knowledge and the understanding of God through the prophets. Amen. Develops a people. That's right. Because once we become the children of God, we must learn the nature of our father. That's right. For us to learn the nature of God, Amen. we must go back Amen. to what's written. What's written? That's right. So nobody That's right. would ever tell me and get away with it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to teach the people what's written if Muslims Amen. not going to believe and go by the Quran. Don't carry it. That's right. Talk to me. That's right. Amen. If you so-called Christians, Amen. It's not gonna go by the Bible. Amen. And throw it in the trash. That's right. You 
You see, when it comes to God, Amen. I don't care who you are. Amen. I don't care where you come from. I don't care nothing about the size following. Amen. Because I know God's word is perfect. Let me show you why we stress Amen. to believe what's written. Amen. I will not have confidence in teaching for someone to give me an opinion. That's right. About God. That's right. Listen, we ain't talking about a store. No. We can't talk about God like he's somebody from the hood. That's Amen. Right. That's right. <laughs> Amen. What kind of God-fearing human being would I be? Amen. That I will let you give me a word of mouth and tell me something about God. Amen. And then Jesus said, That's right. Ye fools. That's right. And slow of heart. Slow of heart. Believe all That's what the prophets. the prophets have said. That's right. For me to do that, we got to go to what's written. That's right. That's right. Now, let's dive into the scripture. He says he doesn't have to give scripture to prove it. Amen. Well, I'm going to give scripture to prove it never happened. That's right. I'm going to give scripture to prove it never happened. That's because right. if God created himself, right, and Muslims, we don't hate you. That's right. That's but we should be able to disagree without being violent and disagreeable. That's right. Amen. If, listen at the lesson. If God created himself from darkness. Amen. To be created, you came into being. That's right. And if you came into being, you wasn't always here. That's right. And if you, if darkness was here before God. Amen. And then God creates himself from darkness. That will give darkness some power that God got to borrow from an element. That's right. That's right. That God of the prophets Amen. always was. Amen. We're supposed to have the same spirit, same spirit that the prophets had. That's right. So that means if we got the same spirit they had, our teaching is not allowed Amen. to deviate from them. That's Amen. right. Let's go to work, Williams. Second Corinthians chapter 4. Follow me in the scripture, Second Corinthians. Chapter 4. See, I don't, we're not going to make up nothing. Amen. No, I ain't making up nothing. Amen. respect to my brother if he's not going to give you what's written amen then i am right. notice in the bible second corinthians chapter 4 and at verse 13 then we get the quran amen listen we having the same spirit of faith the scripture says we have the same spirit of belief. That means the belief we have in God. Amen. The spirit that guide us to believe in God supposed to be the same spirit that guided them. That's right. That's to right. believe in God. That's why I don't see how you churches can come up with Trinity. Amen. Three separate distinct persons in a Godhead when the prophets only preach one. That's right. They only believe one. That's right. And if we got the same spirit they have, we must settle with one. That's Amen. right. That's right. Listen. We having the same spirit of faith. Yes. According. According. As it is written. Oh, you see this? That's right. Amen. He said he don't have to give you what's written. That differ from here. According as it is written. The scripture instructs us. Your faith must be according to what's where. As it is written. No, what's made up. As it is written. An idea. As it is written. An opinion. As it is written. <laughs> Amen. Talk to me. Amen. Amen. You will never go ahead, go ahead. be a people of God go ahead. without living by what's written. That's right. That's right. What's written is the law. That's right. That teaches us how to act. 
Amen. Teaches us what not to do. Amen. Teaches us what to do, what we can't indulge in, what to separate from, what to involve in. And you going to tell me you ain't got to give me no scripture? No scripture. Amen. You want me to serve a God that I can't read about? That's right. You want me to submit to a God? That's right. That you can't prove to me by the scripture? Amen. I don't have to believe a word of it. That's right. Amen. Amen. Listen, that was written. We having the same spirit of faith. We have the same spirit of belief. According as it is written. According as it is written. I believe. I believe. I believe what's written. That's right. I believe what is written. Even Jesus Amen. referred to the prophets. That's right. He quoted from the prophets. That's right. Because the New Testament wasn't written. Amen. So all he had was the prophets. Prophets, that's right. So how can we come along late? Amen. All of us is late on the scene. That's right. Amen. <laughs> oh yes. That's right. All of us are late on the scene. So how can we arrive late? Amen. And then tell you, you ain't got to give me no scripture. No scripture. No sir. That's different from Jesus. That's right. Listen. We having the same spirit of faith. What is it? According as it is written. What? I According as it is written, according as it is written, I believe, I believe, and therefore, therefore, have I spoken. Wait a minute. Listen closely. Amen. He says what? We having the same spirit of faith, uh -huh. according as it is written, I believe, and therefore have I spoken. You supposed to believe what's written, then speak that. That's right. That's right. In the Quran, Surah 6. Amen. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Praise be to Allah who created the heavens and the earth and made the darkness. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Amen. 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 This is your book. That's right. This is your book. Amen. Amen. Listen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Listen. Go ahead. There is no scripture. Preach it, preach it. In the Quran. Amen. Or the Bible. Amen. That teach darkness was in existence before God. Amen. Prophet Muhammad never taught it. Jesus never taught it. Amen. Jeremiah never taught it. And if they didn't teach it, who give you the right? That's right. That's right. Why should we believe you? Amen. Talk to me. Amen. Go ahead, go ahead. Why should we believe you? That's right. No, sir. The honorary Elijah Muhammad was good. Amen. But God here is the greatest. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. This is why there is a saying in Islam that is part of our saying. Allah. That's right. What you mean? If God is the greatest, Amen. We take God's word. That's right. We live by God's law. That's right. We submit to God's law. Amen. If you can't produce what's written, what's written? you have no right to expect me as a believer to follow it. That's right. You have no right. That's right. Praise be to Allah who created the heavens and the earth and made the darkness and the light. Amen. Yet those who reject faith hold others as equal Amen. with their guardian Lord. This is the book of Islam. That's right. That God That's right. created the darkness. Amen. We believe that. That's right. 
Now let's see, does the Bible mm -hmm. agree, brother? Thomas Smallwood said to me, he said, brother, the Bible and the Quran is married to one another. <laughs> well, I was hoping my brother, Minister Rodney Muhammad, would at least get the husband or the wife. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. At least give me something. Something. That's right. Don't tell me just believe it. That's not good enough. Amen. There's too much of that preaching going around. That's right. We want what's written. What's written. We want to believe it. Amen. Because if it is truth and we are God's people, we want to believe it. That's right. Listen at the scriptures. In Isaiah chapter 45 and at verse 7. Yes. I form the light. This is God talking. Amen. God says, I form, form the, light the light and create darkness. God said, yes. I form the light and create darkness. And create darkness. Amen. God said it. Amen. Allah. Amen. God said it. Amen. Amen. It's written here. I form the light. Listen. Listen, brothers and sisters. I form the light. We're not giving you opinion. That's right. No preacher can tell me That's right. to just believe it Amen. because you said it. Amen. Only one can talk like that and get away with it is God. That's right. That's the only one can talk like that. That's right. Listen. I form the light. Listen at what God said. And I, I, I form the light. Form the light. Everybody listen. And create darkness. God said, I form the light. I create darkness. I make peace. I make peace. And create evil. And create evil. I, the Lord. I, the Lord. Do all these things. Everyone listen. Everyone listen. The nation of Islam have to leave. They, they're going out quietly. You listen and pay attention because... We want you to get we want you to get what's written here. That's right. What's written? That's right. Amen. No ahead, devout go Muslim. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Can submit to Allah. Amen. And disbelieve the Quran. That's right. None. That's right. No human can be a Muslim Amen. and disbelieve the Quran. That's right. Impossible. Impossible. Amen. Now, if darkness was here before God, mm -hmm. then the teaching of the nation of Islam, mm -hmm. I have studied the nation of Islam. This is why many of them thought I was from, as they call, the first resurrection. Amen. The teaching, he didn't go into details, but the teaching that God created himself from darkness. It is taught that he started out as a speck of blood. Mm -hmm. Well, the brothers say it's not true, but we do have the Savior's Day Amen. message. That's right. And even though I may disagree with Brother Rodney Muhammad, we was respectful and That's right. did not interrupt him. That's right. Amen. 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 If we, as a people, can respect our brother, and even though I felt as though he made statements that wasn't true, Amen. That's right. but we said quiet, That's right. and we said with discipline, Amen.
You know, I should have followed my mind and I would have brought the tape and played it. Played it, that's right. That's good. But being that they say is not true, when this is aired on our telecast, it will be an excerpt played. Amen. And you will hear it for yourself. Amen. Amen. It was taught Amen. in Savior's Day, 96, and in Savior's Day, 97, Amen. that God, and I quote, Amen. created himself from darkness. Amen. And Brother Minister said, if you want to know how God created himself, mm -hmm. find out how you came into being. Right. He said, Allah started as a speck of blood spinning in space. That's right. And he said, we don't know how long it took Allah to create himself. Amen. But we know that he was created. That's right. And they say this is not true, so keep tuned to the telecast. That's right. Here now is footage of Minister Louis Farrakhan of the Nation of Islam on Savior's Day, 1997. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us God is self-created. Let's stop right there. The Holy Quran said He is not begotten. Well, if God is not begotten, then He is the originator of Himself. In the process of God's self-creation, he had to overcome many things. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us that Allah created himself out of the material of the darkness. He had to overcome darkness which was very real. Listen, listen. He had to overcome a real darkness. And we have to overcome darkness as well. Our beginning bears witness to his beginning. Therefore, no life is conceived in light. All life right. starts in triple darkness and then comes out of triple darkness into light. Let me read it to you from the Holy Quran. Allah says in the Quran that He created you from a single essence of being and made it mate of the same kind. Stop. Brothers, sisters, when you say and God made man and you make the creation of woman something strange, we're making an error that causes mistreatment of the female and any misunderstanding of the female and mistreatment of the female denies us access to God. I want, to, I want you to hear me. Allah says He creates you in the wombs of your mothers. Creation after creation in triple darkness. That is Allah, your Lord. Now, the darkness out of which Allah created Himself has no equal except in the triple darkness of the womb of the female. I'm going to say it again and I'm going to prove it scientifically now. The darkness 
out of which God created himself has no equal except in the darkness of the womb of the female. God has made her womb a replication of the womb out of which he came. Look at this. Look at you think darkness outside is darkness. Wrong. Darkness outside is an illusion. There is no real darkness in this universe except the womb of the female. Now listen. In a few hours, it'll be dark. And you will say, I'm in the dark. But that's an illusion. That's not real. Because that darkness disappears with the presence of light. Why? Because it's not real. What you're walking in is the shadow created by light striking the earth. And when the light strikes the earth on the other side, this side is under the earth's shadow. You call it night, but it's not real darkness. But real darkness is in the womb of the female. How much does God love her? that he makes her to resemble the womb out of which he created himself to show you that he is ever working in darkness to bring things out of darkness into light now let's look bear with me the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said he started as an atom of light. That's right. Now, if you really want to know how God began, study how we begin. Yeah. How did you begin? Go ahead. Go ahead. What was your beginning? A tiny microscopic sperm touched an egg in the darkness of the womb and created the first cell of life, a drop of blood. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us that that drop of blood began rotating in the darkness of the womb. Now the, the blood could not rotate except that light was present in the darkness. Okay. But the light is in the essence of the cell. I want you to hear me. If light is in the essence of the cell, energy is there, intelligence is there. God formed himself in the darkness. He had to overcome the darkness. That darkness that we have to overcome now is the real darkness of our ignorance. Amen. If God started out as a speck of blood, My Lord. where did the blood come from? That's right. That's right. Who made it? Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why would God have to be created? Right. If he created himself, he did not always exist. That's I right. don't want a God that didn't always exist. Amen. We believe that God Amen. is before all things. That's right. 
This is our belief. That's right. We believe God. Amen. The sender of all true holy prophets. That's right. The master of the day of judgment. Amen. The cherisher and sustainer of all words. That's right. The one God of the prophets. Amen. The one God that was in the Messiah, Christ Jesus. That's right. We believe that eternal spirit. Amen. Someone said, you believe in a spook, you call on what you want. The Bible said, God, God is, is a spirit. spirit. That's right. That's right. We That's right. believe God. Amen. Wings was right. and he was before all things right. and I'm going to give you scripture, scripture. that says right. just that in Colossians chapter 1 follow me listen Amen. I want you to follow me in the scripture that's right you see I don't have no papers no, no I don't no. need them don't need them because I preach by what's written that's right and if you preach by what's written, you don't need no pre-planned sermons. That's right. That's right. Amen. Listen at the scriptures. In Colossians chapter 1, begin reading at verse 16. For by him were all things created. Listen, I was talking about no one but God. That's right. The Bible says, by him all things were created. Well, someone said, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's talking about a man. Mm -hmm. Because you see the word him. Him. And it's impossible. If God is a spirit, why don't you call God it? If God is a spirit, the scriptures won't call a spirit him. That's not correct. No, it's not. The scriptures call God oh. He. In John 16 and verse 13. Follow me in the scriptures. That's right. Listen. First in John 16 and at verse 13. How be it when He. How be it when He. If I'm a He. Amen. I'm a Him. That's right. I can't be He and She unless. <laughs> But if I bear the title, he, I'm him, call the scripture again. St. John chapter 16. The diff I want you to follow me in the scriptures. That's right. This is what this meeting is about, scriptures. See, we're not trying to excite you or raise you up. We want you to believe what's in the scriptures only. That's right. That's our interest. That's right. Paul chapter and verse again. St. John chapter 16 and at verse 13. Listen. How be it when he. How be it when he. The spirit. How be it when he. The spirit. Of what? Of truth is come. He, Who is the spirit of truth other than God? That's right. Isaiah chapter 43. No man is the spirit of truth. That's right. The only one is the spirit of truth is God. So the eternal spirit, God, Allah, mm -hmm. bears the title He. he. That's, right. That's right. That's right. Because when He make man in His image, Amen. Man is a reflection of God. That's right. God is not a man. We'll get into that later. Right. Amen. Amen. But we just want to straighten out that the spirit cannot be called he. The he. Bible said when he, the spirit of truth, is come. It's it didn't say when a man come with the spirit of truth. No, no. When it says when he, the spirit, the spirit, the spirit of, of truth, truth, is come, he, he, he will guide, will guide you into all truth. That's why we're here today. That's right. We was guided by the spirit. That's right. Now let's get the scripture. Mm -hmm. That teaches us God was before all things. In Colossians chapter 1, still at verse if 16. If you read this in disbelief, it die hell you ought to go. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to me? Amen. Listen at the scriptures. In Colossians chapter 1 and at verse 16. For by him were all things created. By him? Were all things created that are in heaven, that are in heaven, and that are in, in, and and that are in earth, that are in earth, visible, 
visible and invisible and invisible whether they be thrones what else or dominions what else or principalities what else or powers what else all things what all things all things were created were created by him by him and for him and for him and he uh oh amen amen uh oh amen and he, he he who he god that's right what and he is before and he is before all things amen. that's god's law amen amen the scripture says god is before is don't tell me a white man put that in there that's right that's right every true prophet of god amen speaks by god permission that's right that's right so my question is to the muslim brothers mm -hmm. by whose permission amen can you say mm -hmm. god created himself who gave you that permission that's right if you say god amen let's read it, read it. that's right how did this building get up here? Amen. Every architect had to go by what was written on the blueprint. That's right. So if God is building a people. Amen. By careless thoughts. Mm -hmm. Self-made ideas. Amen. We'll be a worse people than what we are. That's right. The Bible speaks plain. Amen. And Read that again. And he, give chapter and verse. I want you to have Bibles to follow me. That's right. That way you don't think this is just something off the top of my head. Amen. You see, I'm simply a male man. That's right. I bring what's already written. Amen. You understand? Amen. I'm a male man. Listen. In Colossians chapter 1 and at verse 17. And he is before all things. He is before all things. And by him, by him, all things consist. Now, there is a scripture in the Quran mm -hmm. that talks about three veils of darkness. And I believe in Arabic, you mean triple darkness, but it isn't talking about God. Amen. You that had the Quran, follow me. Amen. <laughs> Open your Quran. That's right. That's right. To the 39th surah. Mm -hmm. Begin at verse 6. Amen. He created you all. Talking about Allah. And to the brothers and sisters from churches, the word Allah, the name Allah, simply Arabic for God. Amen. He, Allah, created you all from a single person, then created of like nature, his mate, and he sent down for you eight head of cattle in pairs. He, make, he makes you in the wombs of your mothers, in stages, one after another in three veils of darkness such is allah your lord your cherisher to him belong all domain there is no god but he then how are you turned away from your true center amen. listen amen three veils of darkness in arabic represent triple mm -hmm. But it ain't talking about God. No, no. It's talking about the human family. That's right. The triple darkness is the body of the woman. That's right. Let's break this down and we'll see how in Islam say do the science. Amen. You know, there's some scientists don't know how to experiment properly. Amen. And they have, they have a tendency to make about a chemical imbalance. That's right. And besides being helped, you are injured. That's right. Now, Whenever the man, the wife, the man, the husband lay with the woman, mm -hmm. seed come from the man. Mm -hmm. 
and the seed that comes from the man have the characteristics of the man. That's right. The seed enter into darkness. That's right. And the darkness is a temple, a vessel, a body, the woman. Mm -hmm. Come on. That's right. And life begin to be formed in darkness by the power of light. That's right. Go ahead. Glory to God. Go ahead. Do you understand? That's right. Darkness is the body of the woman. Amen. The light that does the creation is the wisdom of God. That's right. The egg that fertilized the egg, the wall, that egg that is there, that's protected by a wall. What's in that egg have the characteristics of the woman. That's right. So when the seed from the man penetrate to wall mm -hmm. and light start to be formed, mm -hmm. then that child have the characteristics of mother and father. That's right. The child is being formed in darkness. That's right. In triple darkness. That's right. Not God. That's right. It is God. That's creating Amen. the child in triple darkness. That's right. Listen. Psalms 139. Listen. Amen. At the Bible. That's right. Listen. Psalms 139. Follow me. And begin in verse 11. Yes. If I say. If I say. Surely the darkness shall cover me. Surely the darkness shall cover me. Even the night. Even the night. Shall be light about me. Shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee. What is it? But the night shineth as the day. Uh -huh. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. For thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. <laughs> Do Amen. you see that? Amen. Light and darkness, and darkness in the body of a woman. That's right. What is that light? God's ability to create God's skill, God's wisdom. That's right. What is the darkness? The body of the woman. Amen. And by the power of light, mm -hmm. life comes from a dark place. That's right. It comes from one stage of darkness right. and another stage of darkness. That's right. Because it comes from inner darkness and when it arrives from the womb to the earth, Amen. it's here and out of darkness. That's right. That's right. What do you mean in out of darkness? The child is ignorant. Amen. Of the existence of self, mm -hmm. of the existence of God, yes. the child is blind. That's right. Having the understanding. Listen. In Ephesians chapter 4. I want to build with scripture. That's right. Listen. In Ephesians chapter 4 and at verse 18. Having the understanding darkened. Having the understanding darkened. Being alienated. Being alienated. From the life of God. From the presence of God. Through the ignorance. Through the ignorance. That is in them. Because of what? Because of the blindness of their heart. Amen. Amen. So, we as the human family came from a dark place, the wound of our mothers. That's right. Being formed and fashioned and created by Allah. Go ahead, go ahead. And when we arrive here, we arrive now in another stage of darkness. That's right. In order for a man and a woman to know self, Amen. you first must be introduced to God. That's right. That's right. It isn't that you must learn self first. You cannot know yourself until you know your master. That's right. That's right. God is our master. That's right. When you come into the knowledge of God, God will bring you to the knowledge of self. How? Through divine information. Amen. Sure. We begin to learn the lessons of God by learning the prophets. That's right. And learning the apostles. That's right. Men who were divinely inspired to relate to us the standard of God. That's right. Now, I am not going to tell you, you believe what you want to believe. No, no. Because none of God's messengers Amen. tells the people, believe anything you want. No, no. If God want us to believe anything we want, he wouldn't have took time. That's right. And revealed himself. That's right. To the prophets. That's right. St. John chapter 7. The purpose of eliminating your own personal beliefs. Go ahead. God send us men. Amen. 
who spoke as they were divinely inspired by God. Amen. No man conjured up something off the top of his head. No, no. You see, listen, no Bible school, mm -hmm. no seminary Amen. can properly inform you with the wisdom of God. That's right. The scriptures teaches us That's this. Right. The world by wisdom know not, not God. God. That's right. And it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Your PhD don't mean nothing here. No, no. Your LLD don't mean nothing. That's right. Your DD don't mean nothing. That's right. But God. Amen. That mean everything. Mean everything. That's right. How can I be a minister of God? Mm -hmm and contradict God. That's right. That's right. That's right. If God say he is before all things, before all things. everybody in the building Amen. better say the same thing. That's right. That's right. Did you hear what I said? Amen. If God said he is before all things, he is before all things, all things. then I would take God's word. That's right. Over the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Amen. 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 This would have brought about so many religions, mm -hmm. opinions, right. ideas. Mm -hmm. All the ministers that's in the building today. Amen. If you are ministering to the people. Mm -hmm. The righteousness of God and if you ever stand before the people the righteous or the unrighteous and tell them mm -hmm. I don't have to show you in the scriptures My Lord. then the people should be concerned if they sold enough to ask you why not that's right why not that's right Amen. don't tell me to believe something no Scripture teaches us prove all things. Prove all things. That's right. Is that right? That's right. Prove all things. All things. That's right. No, God didn't come from darkness. No, no. We did. Amen. No darkness was here before God. No. God was here before all things. That's right. They, we don't associate none with Him. That's right. There's no God besides Him. Mm -hmm. In fact, one scripture says, That's see, true. if you say God created Himself, you're saying He got a beginning. That's right. I contradict that. That's right. Give me the book of Hebrews. That's right. Chapter 7. Chapter 7. Amen. Begin at verse 3. Verse 3. That's right. Follow me in the scriptures. Hebrews chapter 7 and at verse 3. What is it? Without father. Come on. Without father. Amen. What else? Without mother. So only God can walk around without a father. Amen. That's right. Only God can be here without having a mother. With, what else? Without descent. Uh oh, no descent. We ain't got no relatives. That's right. God don't have no relatives. That's right. What else? Having neither beginning of days. What? Having neither beginning of days. No, he began in darkness. Having neither beginning of days. He began in darkness. Having neither beginning of days. He began in darkness. Having neither beginning of days. He began in darkness. Having neither beginning of days. Amen. Am I right? That's right. That's right. That's right. The scripture says he have no beginning of days. That means he always was. That's right. And what else? Nor end of life. If he have no end of life, he always will be. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. When we teach America and the world, we're not over the air to give you our opinion. No, no. You know my opinion don't mean nothing. That's right. But anytime you say you're the child of God. Amen. And you submit to Almighty God. Mm -hmm. I don't care how many days you pray. Right. You can go Amen. to all the churches and the mosque in the world. That's right. If you don't believe what is written. That's right. Going to the mosque ain't worth a dime. Amen. Going to the churches ain't worth a dime. That's right. If you don't believe what's written. That's right. 
We having the same spirit Are of you listening? That's right. The scriptures teaches us we have. Back in 2 Corinthians 4 and at verse 13. What is it? We having the same spirit of faith. Oh, I wish the brother would have stayed. Amen. But if there is any other ministers, any other ones, that's right, from the nation of Islam, that's right, that would like to come up here and join me now, amen, and prove by the scriptures, Allah created Himself from triple darkness. Take the podium. Yes, sir. The invitation is open. Amen. How you feeling, brother? Martin? Yes, sir. You you come to prove that, brother? I come to straighten things out. You want to straighten things out? Yes, All right, brother. You can come at the microphone over here. <laughs> we want somebody to stand for the nation. Amen. Now. We'll let the brothers get situated. But I believe it's only fair. It is only fair. Amen. Because the brother had to go, and I respect he had to go. I ain't going nowhere. Amen. I ain't moving. On what I believe. That's right. I will settle. That's right. On what I believe. Amen. And I won't back down from no one on this earth. That's right. From what God said. Amen. Amen. If standing for God calls you your life, stand for what's written. Amen. Any other Muslims from the nation of Islam that are ministers who would love to come up and show us where God created himself out of triple darkness. We don't want words thrown around. No, no. We want to see what's written. We're glad to have Minister Marvin Muhammad from Mississippi. Let me say this before I turn the microphone over to him. This brother and myself will be in dialogue tomorrow. Amen. So you don't want to miss it at the address you see on the telecast, 2431 Frankfurt Avenue. Tomorrow morning, you can come in between 12, 1230. You better come early to get a seat. And me and my brother here is going to get into further dialogue about the teachings of the nation of Islam. Let us now hear from Minister Marvin Muhammad. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the most merciful, the truthful, and the most just. I greet all of you in the greeting words of peace. I salam alaikum. Salaikum salam. Peace be unto you all. I, uh, I didn't come here this evening with the intentions of getting up here because I was expecting to hear um, Minister, Minister Rodney, Rodney Muhammad. Muhammad. Yes, sir. And uh, Apostle uh, Jennings have a dialogue with one another. But since they were not here. Oh, they were, you just missed them. <laughs> I decided I would come up. Yes. Um, first of all, I'm not a, a member of the 
Nation of Islam under Minister Louis Farrakhan. I'm, I am the leader and the teacher of the new Nation of Islam. Um, and our headquarters is in Mississippi. And uh, I'm not up here to talk about how low down white people are. I'm, uh, that is not the reason I came up here. I came up here to, first of all, uh, give you some understanding from the scriptures that uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad based what he said to us on. First of all, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad did not say that Allah created himself from darkness. What? That's the, just, just a moment, just a moment. People, people may have understood him to mean that, but that's not what he said. I brought a, a, a book, the album, uh, when my brothers bring my briefcase up here. You got the key to the van, I just gave it to the brother. <laughs> Whoever you out there got the keys to my brother's van, y'all yeah, get it. The That's the right key. The brother said that the Honorable was. Elijah Muhammad didn't teach it. I just gave my brother the, the key to the van. And if the Honorable Elijah Muhammad didn't teach it, where did it come from? Amen. Is that right? Amen. Go ahead, brother. I, uh, now, I, I want to say this to, to all of you. One of the things that God said, and I, I, I got my Bible and my Holy Quran, but it's in the van, because like I said, I wasn't planning on standing up here. This you evening. want to take this, brother? Uh, brother is good at finding it. Yeah. Over in the, in the, uh, in the scripture you want. He in the scriptures it. in the Holy Bible. Yes, sir. Right here, please. And everyone, please give the brother your undivided attention. All right. Now, now uh, in the sixth chapter of Proverbs, uh, Allah says something that he hates. Yes. Six things, actually seven. Right. And it, it reads as follows. And I want you to understand something. When I accepted the teachings of Islam, I did not accept the teachings of Islam because of the, the fad or, or something of that. I, I accepted the teachings of Islam because of the meaning of the word Islam. All right. the, the, the meaning of the word Islam is entire submission to the will of God. Yes. That's not just something that was made up. I looked it up. It's in the dictionary. So it's not, it's not like, like I'm just uh, uh, following something just to be following it. And the Word of God, yes, sir. brother, I'm going I'm I'm to take my time because I want you time. to understand me. That's right. The, the Word of God, when, when we say entire submission to the will of God, <clears throat> well, the same way that when you and I walk into a restaurant, we will sit down and a waiter will come over there to our table and he will say, may I help you? Now in order for him to help you, you have to tell him how. And when you tell him what you want, it's his job or duty to go and do what you want. Now you are expressing your will through your word. And if you want to know what God's will is, you got to look in his word. Exactly. So now that's that's what that's what we're going to get straight today. At least began getting it straight. Yeah. I mean, you can't teach nobody the whole history of the of the world or the universe in no few hours, and you certainly can't get acquainted with God that that easy. No, sir. I heard the minister say once, "We're not talking about somebody that's well, from the hood." That's right. 
God, God the, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, getting acquainted with God is not like getting acquainted with the common food. So you, you can't just open up God's word like you open up something that uh, 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 the, the, the scholars, so-called scholars and scientists of this world uh, wrote. You know how you, you can get a book from uh, uh, any college or university and you can open it up and if you don't understand it, you can go over there to one of those professors and he, if he has an associate degree or a PhD degree, he can open up a book that he didn't write and he can start telling you what the author meant. But God don't have no associate. So in order to get God's word, the understanding of it, if he don't give it to you, you don't have it. Exactly. So the book says, to him whom our law gives no light, he have no light. And, and the, uh, the, this is the thing that most of us have messed up on. You see, if we could guide ourselves through the scriptures, then the scriptures would not have said, when he come, he will guide you. And lead, trust in who? Not yourself. Trust in the Lord. With what? With all your heart. And that ain't talking about this heart here. No, that ain't no, that don't do nothing but pump physical blood. That's right. This is your heart. That's the heart of the human being. And when it says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding of his word because your thoughts are not his thoughts. The only way that th this brother or myself or any of you could say something and like if he says something because he and I are both human beings. Then in that sense, we are equal as men. There's certain things that one man can say that any man can understand and explain. Because we are all men. I see you have no patience. You can't, uh, you excuse, can't teach excuse people. Me, brother, I don't mean to cut you off, but they're trying to put us on a strict time limit. Oh. So what we want to do is kind of get into this right. triple darkness thing. Well, that's what we want to do. We want well, a way to get into that. Well, let me let me say this well, to that you. Way you you and I have time tomorrow. Okay. All right. Let me say this to you. Yes. When you when you look at the words triple darkness, in the first place, we all know that in the beginning of this, um, I got a question for you. Who created matter? God created all things. Oh yeah. So you don't believe zero plus zero is zero. If there was ever a time when there was nothing in this universe, that's what would be here now. Now, I, I'm not talking something off the top of my head. The scripture says that. You turn to uh, Matthew and around the, what is that, the, or is it Luke? The 14th chapter. Please, everybody listen. Everybody listen. Let's listen, brothers and sisters. Just a moment. I'll Le tell you what. At least the brother We're going to get in this. We're going to get into this tomorrow, but I'm going to touch on this right now. Yes, yes. And okay, in John, in John, the third chapter, Jesus was talking to Nicodemus. And he told Nicodemus, this is the third chapter of, of John, and... Jesus was talking to Nicodemus about uh, being born again. Yeah. Now Jesus, I'm going to start at the third verse. Come on, brother. He said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Now Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? And Jesus answered and said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, 
he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh. And that which is born of spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, you must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, and canst not tell from whence it cometh or whither it goeth. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said, Art thou a master? Art thou a master of Israel and knowest not these things? Meaning you don't know this? Then he said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that which we do know, and testify that which we have seen. And you receive not our witness. Now if I have told you earthly things, if I have told you earthly truth, and you have not believed, how, the, how anybody going to talk to you about heavenly things? And anybody in here that wants to say matter was created, you can't show that in the scripture. You can show where matter was formed, but you can't say that it was created because it was not. And you, neither can you show that there was ever a time when there was no light in this universe. You can, the scripture does say that the light shined in darkness, but the darkness comprehended it not. But it don't never say that there was no light, because if there was no light, there was no God. So you're saying, brother, not cutting you off, that the nation of Islam is incorrect. By no, I'm man. saying that, that anybody who say that there was ever a time when there was no light in the universe is incorrect. All right, so you're a brother who used to follow. When did you come under the leadership of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad? In 1973. 1973. And you're saying the Honorable Elijah Muhammad didn't teach that God created himself from darkness? No, that you can't make nothing from darkness. All right, so let me ask you this. You was a Muslim minister, correct? I'm the son of man. You are a minister of Islam. I'm the son of man. All right. Your religion is Islam. I know exactly what I'm saying. Is your religion Islam? Yes, sir. All right. Then if you, you know, don't be scared to say it. Say yes, it. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, hey. This is the thing. Hey, what you believe? This is the. Let me say oh, this. Go ahead. Uh, let me say this. If the honorable Elijah Muhammad didn't teach that God created himself from darkness, do you believe? that God created himself from darkness as a Muslim. God is self-created. And the scripture says that, but well, most people don't understand what, it, what it's talking about. All right, I tell you what. Okay, Show the scripture us. says, okay, uh, turn to the, uh, that sixth chapter that you quoted. Yes. Okay. Go here. And the surah? This is the, we gonna what start the at the first, first verse. Proverbs? No, oh, surah. The, uh, the Holy Quran. All right. Okay. Everyone, listen good. He's going to show us where it's written that God created himself. Listen good. All right. Okay. This is the Quran, Surah 6. All right. Go ahead, brother. It says, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. What verse are you reading on, brother? I'm starting at the first verse. All right, brother. Go ahead. Praise be to Allah, who created the heavens and the earth and made darkness and light. Okay. Now who made light? God did. Okay. Now turn to chapter 24 of the Holy Quran. You know, you know what the scripture says about studying? It says, just a moment. That's it, man. Just Brother, a moment. I don't mean to cut you off, but we're on a time. I'm, I'm okay. going to, I'm and going to you, do this. You and I can use our time tomorrow. All right. We just want to get right, right to the core. Right okay. to the core. That's what we want to do. You know, we don't. Now, who? We now, don't I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask you again now. Now, do you really believe in the scriptures? Oh, yes, I believe in the scriptures. And all, all of you. All I want is the scripture that right. says God created himself. All right. Now, That's the all Holy all Quran right. says... And the Bible says it too. Set where? The Bible says, I form the light. Yes. And create darkness. Yes. Now. Uh, oh, are you saying that meant? No, no, just a moment. I'm oh, going to let you, I'm right. going to let, I'm going to let the scripture say it. All right, come on, brother. The scripture says, Allah is the light. Hmm. Now, if he said, I made the light. 
Yes. Or I created the light. Yes. And then it turns around and says he is the light. Yes. My Lord. All right. He don't know what he's doing. This is going this is going to be interesting. And often saying the telecast get the language of the Bible. That's two different kinds of light. That's right. Allah made the light. What was the light that he made? Was referring to himself? No. Cuz see the light that refers to he made the light is not talking about something eternal. But that's when right. you say Allah is the light that's eternal. The light that just as you quoted that Allah made no. goes out and come back which is what daylight, daylight. sunlight. That's right. Now I'm glad. Just a moment. It's like, right. Just a moment. That's the now minute. I'm glad. Just a minute. Hold it, brother. I'm Hold very it, brother. glad when you say that you understand that there are two different types of light. Oh, when you say Allah. Now, just a minute, brother. Just a minute. When you say Allah is light. Right. What? Why would God bear the title light? Right. That's the question. That's right. God bears the title light for a reason. That's right. Why? He is light in man to guide man from darkness, from ignorance, from stupidity, That's right. from foolishness, from folly. Amen. Okay. Listen. Amen. Listen. Amen. Now, are you going to let me answer that? My uh, minister brother here from the Nation of Islam said he would like to clear up something in reference to Master Farad Muhammad. All right? Okay, brother. First of all, before I uh, go into anything, we are taught to seek refuge in Allah against Satan, the accursed. Before I go into defense of Master Farad Muhammad, to whom praise is due forever, I will say one thing. Minister Rodney Muhammad called me from the dunya, and, minister, and Muslims know what that means. He called me from drinking, smoking, lying, cheating, and stealing. So in essence, I owe the spirit that's in that brother because I can't defend him, he can defend himself. I cannot defend the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Minister Farrakhan has done that well, especially when he called a million to come to Washington and you came, and we thank you for that. Secondly, I'm here to present a total of $200,000 certified money, verified, and will be released from the UCC1 account at the Secretary of State. We will forward that money. I have $100,000 to the First Church of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who will accept that money? I also have a $100,000 certified tender of payment to Muhammad's Mosque number 12. Who will accept that on their behalf? Come up and accept this. If not, then we will make sure that this is forwarded to them. I'm here in defense of Master Farah Muhammad, and I will give that defense. I will challenge any Sunni Muslim, any Muslim, any Christian, any Hebrew Israelite, any one from the first church of our Lord Jesus Christ to come forward and we will put up $100,000 and let the tapes roll and let everybody take witness that we will challenge you in your religion, in your way of life to come forth and show that in 30 days with your religion that you can establish a independent religious nation for us as a people so that your children and your daughters will no longer have to be prosec prosecuted in false courts. That you won't have to go outside and your vehicles are stolen. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, we challenge you to come listen, forth listen, listen, that you can establish listen, listen, this. Listen, listen. And I will challenge him on national TV anywhere he say that your religion cannot bring an independent religious nation for us so that we can stop being falsely arrested, falsely um, tried, 
that our vehicles and our properties, while you sitting here, they putting your mothers and your grandmothers out in the street with all these right, false attorneys. Right, listen, that's, listen, your religion brother, cannot me. bring an independent me, nation for excuse us. Me. It's excuse no me. good. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me. Listen. Uh, listen. Uh, that's, brother, if you don't be orderly, we're going to escort you out. All right, now. That's nothing. That's <laughs> nothing. We are about substance. Give him that. Yeah, we don't want to give that. Give him that. Uh, I'm not a hoe. You can't buy me. Amen. Amen. We want to have some brief remarks from the Iman because we're on a very strict. All right, we got a few more minutes. Come on, brother. Let us give him our undivided attention, please. Go ahead, brother. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajeem Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I begin by first seeking refuge with Allah from the evil shaitan, the accursed, as I'm sure we all must realize that his presence is here today. But as the truth has to be told, and as our reverend here said, this is not for entertainment, it is about trying to achieve the truth. I want to bear witness to the truth today of what our minister here have said concerning the truth that has been revealed in the Holy Quran. To clear up the question as far as Allah's creation, Allah clears it up himself in the Holy Quran in Surah 112 where he says Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Qul huwa Allahu ahad Allahu samad Lam yalid wa lam yulad Wa lam yakul lahu kufu wan ahad Where Allah says say He huwa Allah is one The absolute The eternal he begets not, nor is he begotten, and there is none like unto him. Exactly. Right. Yes, sir. I also want to say that I've read in the Holy Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said that the closest in faith to the Muslim is the Christian. Because Allah has softened their hearts to the truth. And as was said in history, in Islamic history, when our noble Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sent a contingency of Muslims to Abyssinia to seek refuge with the Christian king there from the persecution of the pagans, the Christian king himself said, I see no difference in what is said to me today between Christianity and Islam, and he drew a line in the ground. I have to bear witness that what this minister said today concerning Islam is the truth. But in keeping with the truth, I must also call our brother, and I'm going to say he's my brother, to a higher understanding of the truth as was revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he said, if you indeed love Allah, then love Muhammad. He says, love Muhammad. Because Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he calls you to the truth of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed. That which was with Isa alayhi salam, Jesus. That which was with Musa, Moses. That which was with Ibrahim, Abraham alayhi salam. So I call my brother to study Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I call everyone who believes in the truth of Isa alayhi salam to study Muhammad and study what Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has brought concerning Isa alayhi salam and you will find that there's no difference in what we are saying except 
some of the things that were changed and misappropriated through the evil of men because of their deceiving men and wanting men to follow them. I'm not here to dispute with our brother. I'm not going to dispute with him because he preached good today. And what he said was the truth. And he brought and he put the light out. He put the light out of falsehood. He put the light out of a falsehood. A lost upon the Allah says many times he uses his servants to bring about his will. Allah has used his servant of his to bring about his will. He exposed the falsehood. Allah says he begets not nor is he begotten. No Muslim could stand here today and not feel compassion for what our brother has said concerning the truth. We have to give it to him. But I would like, again, to call our brother to converse with Muslims of knowledge. Because as the brother said, you don't have to be an Arab to understand and follow Islam. No, you don't have to be an Arab. But Allah says, verily, he revealed the Quran in Arabiya. And revealed, he revealed it in a language because Arabic was a pure language. But Allah has allowed the Arabic language to be translated so that we may understand it all over the world. But there's an explanation of the Quran called the Tafsir. And this Tafsir was the explanation that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained to the companions who he taught the Quran to. We, I invite our brother to study the Tafsir so that he may get the pure understanding of what was revealed concerning the, the Quran. Alhamdulillah, everything he said concerning the Quran was correct. And may Allah bless him and lead him to Islam. And I don't say that with any disrespect. I say that as, as, as your brother who say that you are Ahl Kitab. You are the only one that I can say today that is Ahl Kitab, the people of the book, whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says was revealed to Musa, Moses, and to Isa, Jesus. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So again, we thank you, brother. Okay, and, uh, and this is from our hearts. Oh, yes, sir. Because we, we Muslims are here, and we bore witness to the stamping out of falsehood. Yes, sir. There's no such thing as God being a man. There's no such thing as God being a man. And I, and I don't say, I don't say this to attack Elijah Muhammad or to attack Minister Farrakhan, I say this because this is the truth. Because this is the truth and I'm bound to give the truth even if it's against myself. So I don't disrespect and I don't mean no harm to no one. I'm just here confirming the truth that our brother has brought here today concerning the scriptures of the Bible and of the Quran. So we say Alhamdulillah, we praise Allah and we thank the minister here for bringing the truth to a matter of falsehood. And we invite everyone to study Islam in its purest form and study Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He came with the Quran and if our minister here believes that in what he read of the Quran, then it is upon him to investigate the life of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and how he is in relationship to Moses and Jesus. So my brother, I will say, Assalamu Alaikum. As -salamu alaykum. As -salamu alaykum. successful in studying the Quran the Imam didn't know it but we are already in study of the Quran Amen. for to properly know a religion you have to study it Amen. this is why we are able to deal with the nation of Islam and I believe that I may quote out of Quran that brother Musa often quote and I love to hear him say it the Quran talks about how we heard shoot at them and knock out their brains. <laughs> the Bible says thine hand shall be in the neck of thine enemy. We believe truth. 
See, and if the Muslims know how to conduct themselves orderly, and he's supposed to be in the church, Amen. he should be able to know how to conduct himself orderly. We are to all the imams and ministers, we thank you for taking the time out to come. We wish Rodney Muhammad would have stayed because we had some questions to ask him that would have helped everybody. Amen.